Yes, good day, my viewers. Today, we want to consider alternative to chemistry practical, which is salt analysis. Now, read with me. C is a mixture of two inorganic salts. The following tests were carried out on C salts. Okay, so this alternative to practical, you are not given uh, any reagent. I mean, you are not in the real lab, but uh, the test and the observation and the inference, the table is already prepared. So this is how you are going to see it in your exam. And these are the expected answers you have to supply. I'm going to do that now. They are solving this together. So the solution to this uh, question, I'm going to do the solution to the question right now. Okay. C plus distilled water, then filter. Anytime you see the word filter, anytime you see the word filter, it means that uh, that salt is that salt, salt combination is made up of soluble and insoluble one. Because before you can filter, that means that you have an insoluble salt. Okay. And then the observation is you have partly soluble. That is sample C is partly soluble. Your inference will be C is a mixture of soluble. C is a mixture of soluble and insoluble salt. Since C partially dissolved. Since C partially soluble, it just means that the combination of two salts, one is soluble, the other one is insoluble, and that is why you can filter. Now, the filter, what is the filter? The one that passes through the filter paper, okay? The filter plus aqueous ammonia. Remember, when you have aqueous ammonia here, and uh, CA2 plus is present. The inference. Whenever you are using aqueous ammonia and you have it and you have calcium ion as your inference, automatically there will not be visible reaction here. Why? Because we are we can use aqueous ammonia to confirm or to test for calcium ion. So in this regard, now your observation here will be no visible, no visible reaction. No visible reaction. No visible reaction. Okay? The second portion of the filtrate, it means that that filtrate has been divided into two. The second portion of the filtrate plus sodium hydroxide. In draw, please take note. In draw, it must follow the same line. This in draw must follow the same line with your observation. So, in draw, we have white precipitate. In the question, we don't we are not expected to fill in any answer here. If we are expected to fill in answer here, since you have white precipitate, there are two ions that give white precipitate. We have calcium ion and lead ion. Those are the ions that give ordinarily white precipitate. But here, they do not ask us to supply anything. And at our inference, calcium is being confirmed. And remember, we are using sodium nitrosine. So in SS, this white precipitate remains. You can say white precipitate remains, or you can say precipitate and solid. You pick one. You won't write the two simultaneously. White precipitate remains, or precipitate and solid. So I write white precipitate. White precipitate remains. Which simply means that precipitate is what is insoluble. And when you have that, it means that calcium ion, which is CA2 plus, is confirmed. Okay, to the third portion of the filtrate. Remember that we tested the first filtrate, we've tested the second filtrate. Now, to the third portion of the filtrate, plus AgNO3, I mean, plus dilute. Trivalent acid that is HLO3, no visible reaction, and then you are not supplying anything here because in the question 
we are not expected to supply anything here. Do you understand now? Okay. Now, but listen, if HGNO3 comes before HNO3, I mean, if sliver trouser nitrate 5 comes before trouser nitrate 5 acid, you are going to, here will not be no visible reaction. Take note of that. If we have AgNO3 before dilute trouser nitrate 5 acid, the, our observation will not be no visible reaction. Now, but this is immediately we are adding sliver trouser nitrate 5, our observation will be white precipitate. White precipitate. White precipitate. Our immediately you add the AgNO3, you are, you are going to observe white PPT, white precipitate. But please don't write. PPT because PPT can also make property. It will be good if you write white precipitate. If you write white precipitate like this, you have yourself one man. Now, if it is AgNO3 that we put here, this white precipitate is what we are going to observe here. So later, if you now add AgNO3, you will have the precipitate still remain instead of no visible reaction. Okay. Imagine you are adding AgNO3. AgNO3 is a, is a reagent that we use to test for chloride ion. So automatically, we are going to have Cl minus is present. Is present. That's chloride ion. Cl minus is present. Imagine you add AgNO3. Okay? Now, followed by aqueous ammonia. Imagine you add aqueous ammonia, this why precipitate dissolves. To give the colorless solution, precipitate, precipitate, dissolves. I'm going to display it on the screen then. Precipitate, dissolves. Immediately you add aqueous ammonia and automatically you have already confirmed chloride ion. Cl minus is confirmed. CL minus is confirmed. Please take note if you write ordinary CL and you not put minus on top, it will not score because you are writing chlorine atom like that. So you must ensure that you put the ions there, chloride ion. Now we move to part B. Remember that we are resolving the, the filtrate. Now we are not doing the filtrate again. We want to test for our residue. Residue solution or the portion of the portion of solution of residue plus sodium hydroxide. In drop, you have white precipitate. Remember, I've told you that anytime you talk about white precipitate, there are two ions that give white precipitate. Calcium ion, which is Cl2, uh, Ca2+, and lead ion, Pb2+. Those are the two ions that give white precipitate. So we have Ca2+. Plus or PB2 plus is what is present. Is present. Is present. Now you must ensure that you write it like this before this one can hand you one mark. Precipitate in a had the sodium hydroxide in excess, precipitate dissolves. Remember that when we are adding sodium hydroxide for the filtrate. Precipitate remains. That was when we test for the presence of calcium. I repeat, when precipitate remains, that is precipitate insoluble, that shows the presence of Ca2. But when the precipitate dissolves, it shows that we are testing for lead ion, which is Pb2 plus is present. PB2 plus is present. Why? Because the precipitate dissolves. Now we are moving on to the next uh, question there. Another portion of the solution, I mean, the residue solution plus aqueous ammonia. Plus aqueous ammonia. Remember, I have told us initially that we don't use aqueous ammonia to test for calcium at all. So maybe you have white precipitate here, you don't even need to refer to calcium ion. Because we are not using ammonia to test for the presence of calcium ion at all. So we are going to have Pb2 plus is 
present. And please take note, you must ensure that you write this a on like this, not pb plus 2. If you write plus 2, it is 0. Plus 2, it is 0. You rather write it 2 plus. Okay, B, I, I. Another question of uh, solution of the residue for silicon ammonia is draw. Now, you observe why specificity. All these ones, all these electric equipment means that the information you are providing is the one I write in black means that those are the ones that you are expected to supply. Okay, now, why specificity? In the question, you observe why specificity under your observation. For since you are testing with A plus ammonia, you don't need to write CA. B plus A again. Remember, I told you initially that uh, whenever we observe white specificity, there are two aliens that give white specificity, and these are calcium aliens and the B aliens. But because of so, uh, aqueous ammonia here, we are not going to bring in a calcium alien here because calcium alien and ammonia did not go together. Okay, so while precipitate we have let like two layer is present, PB2 plus is present. That was in draw. Make sure it is on the same straight line. Okay, in SS, precipitate remains insoluble, which means that in aqueous ammonia, lead 2 is insoluble in aqueous ammonia. So we are going to have PB2 plus is compound. PB2 plus is compound. Now, if there isn't dry test for lead, residual solution plus hydrochloric acid, you are going to have white precipitate. Now, plus it, when you eat the solution, precipitate disappears. And that's telling you that you are going to observe electric chloride. This is electric chloride. Okay? When you eat the solution, precipitate disappears. And on cooling, precipitate reappears. That's observation. On cooling, reduce it to be appeared. That's all that observation. And everything we have been testing for so far is lead. Lead, uh, lead to air. If you have not subscribed, can you subscribe? Make sure you share this video to as many as possible. Thanks for watching.